Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this quick one, I will show you how you can easily create a preview image or thumbnail image for your images that you might want to upload to your server inside your Ionic app. So I've started a blank new app and we go ahead by adding the Cordova plugin for the camera because um, obviously we need some way to capture an image inside our app. Uh, so we can then create a preview image or a thumbnail image from it. Of course, also install the NPM package for uh, the camera. And I will bring up the preview with the lab. Um, but actually, um, what we do later in this tutorial won't work inside the browser because we use um, Ionic um, Cordova plugins and they won't work inside your browser. So import the camera in your app module and add it to the array of providers. Now I can also bring in this preview just to see if we uh, made edit some bugs in some places. Anyway, um, we're done with the app module and we can go to the home page. So this page will be really simple. Um, I've said this many times, but this one will be even more um, simple. So the content of our page is basically uh, two buttons. So ion button full and some click event, whatever. And the first will be used to load an image. And the second one will be used to create the thumbnail so we call this load image and this one create thumbnail very creative right so we can add those to our home file and also create thumbnail like this okay and below those two buttons we add um, two things so first of all we got a big image and the big image will have a source which will be a big image and then we got the same thing but now for a small image and small image so this will be the image once we've captured it uh, taking it from the library and this will be the image after we created the thumbnail from it and also we want to give the size of the images so we create big size um, in megabytes and also small size same here in megabytes and we will calculate the size of the images within our app as well so from now on it gets a bit harder and it also uh, gets a bit more funny now so we got the big image um, and we got the big size which will be zero and we got the small image and we got the small size of course this is um, just for testing with the size you don't need this but i wanted to show you um, that it actually works so that I'm not just creating a smaller image somewhere. Okay, we import the camera and also the camera options. And then inside our load image, we create the options for our capturing. So camera options. And we, first of all, uh, let the quality at 100% because I want to show you how big actually the original image file is. So then we got um, the destination type and we make this a data URL so um, we can easily change it to base 64 string and then display it and calculate the size and all of this. So this is a bit easier. So for the picture source type, I pick photo library here. Um, yeah, whatever, correct orientation, true, allow edit, false, whatever you like, of course. This dialog is up to you. Then we call the get picture uh, function with our no options. And then we hopefully get some image data back. Oh, come on. 
Um, with the image data, we first of all have to make it a real base 64 string. So we have to add data image JPEG base 64 and then the actual image data we got. So this is now a valid string and this can be set to our big image. So also we can now um, calculate the big size um, but of course we need another function get image size and get image size from a data URL um, is somehow uh, inspired by multiple um, stack overflow posts I didn't came up with this solution so first of all we have to um, cut the edit data course this is no no big deal but anyway we will do it so we take the length of the full string and cut the head dot length so now the length is correct and then we have to add a few things so um, base 64 compresses so that every one of the characters represents six bits and um, also one um, kilobyte no not one kilobyte one byte is made up of eight bits so we have to divide it by eight to go to bits and this can also be converted to three and four of course if you um, have joined some simple math classes in school then we uh, multiply it a few times so we get two megabytes we close it and we say um, to fixed to get four digits after the point and that's it so now it looks a bit difficult but actually it's uh, not that hard so now we can pass in our big image to our get image size function and this will calculate the image size for our big image okay now the actual funny uh, part begins with our create thumbnail function and we will add a new function so um, this function will be for you one that you can easily copy into your projects and use right there so um, therefore I will make it as general as possible um, we add some defaults or fallback, uh, no default values for these variables. This is also a number. Nope, number. Then we got the quality, also a number. And finally, we got a callback. Okay. So this function will now help us to actually create our thumbnail. Um, hopefully, or let's uh, implement it first. So we make use of the canvas element and we go ahead, document create, um, where is it? Create element canvas. Okay, and also we create a new image like this. Now we attach or we add to the image onload function some stuff that we want to do um, and after that or in general we need to set the source of our image to the actual image that was passed to our function. So this means the image will be loaded into our image object and on load we do now a few things so first of all we take the image width and we take the height which is image height so now we check which one of those is bigger if the width is bigger than the height and also if the width is bigger than the max width um, in that case, we need to um, set our width to the uh, maximum width. 
and also we need our height to be the max width um, divided by the current width. So this will help us to keep the actual uh, ratio correct. Um, what's wrong here? Okay, this is wrong. So this is the first part. And now we also got the second one. So if the actual height is bigger than the max height, um, we have to apply a few changes as well. So in that case, um, I think we need more or less the same, but uh, the width is max height divided through the height and then um, then we can set it to the max height. Okay, so this is a bit complicated. Maybe we could also leave this out, but I want to be, no, I wanted uh, that it is correct for you. So then we go ahead and set the width of our actual canvas and also of course the height. And then we can um, get a context of our canvas. So we call get context 2D. Um, and now onto this little context, we can draw an image. So this is the trick here. Uh, we basically draw onto the canvas and then we get something back from the canvas. So now we draw the image. We start at zero, zero. The say size is width and height, of course. And now we got a canvas object with an image drawn onto it. And now we can go back and say canvas to data URL. We want to please get an image of the JPEG type, uh, JPEG. And it should have the quality we have defined or we got from outside. So now we got a data URL and now we can call the callback we added previously with our data URL. Okay, so uh, might look a bit scary, but the actual usage now is super simple. So when we call create thumbnail, we go ahead and call this generate uh, from image. And now we can add a few things. The first is the image, which is the big image in the beginning. Um, then let's say we want to have it like 200 and 200 and the quality uh, maybe very low to 0 0.2. And finally, we got the callback, which means we get the data URL right here. We can use it uh, as a promise and then set our small image to the data and calculate our small size, which is get image size for this dot small image. And that's actually it. So as I said, uh, load image won't work here. Um, we have to run it on a device now. So let me bring up my simulator. Okay, so here's the app on my device or on my simulator. And I had a little typo here. Uh, of course, an H would be wrong. So this is JPEG, of course. Now this is the app and we go ahead and load some of the uh, pre-installed images. Let's say this one. Okay, it's three megabyte. Um, now let's take a different one. I think this one is even bigger. So this is over six megabyte big, this image. Of course, always streaming this back to the user is quite heavy. So let's create a thumbnail. And you see our thumbnail um, is not as good as this image, of course. But if you make this even smaller and display it in a list, it's totally fine. And the size, a fraction of the original size. So this can be easily uh, sent to the server and set as the preview image for this big image inside the list. Which means when you call a list of with 20 objects, um, you don't have 20 calls for a 5 megabyte image, but 20 calls for this, which is really nothing. So, um, and then you click on the list item perhaps, and then the big image will be loaded. But creating a thumbnail is super helpful for these cases where you work with images and especially with lists or 
or have a smaller preview of the actual image which don't uh, has to be or which doesn't needs to be the original image because it's just too small nobody will care if this is the quality or not so um, if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more quick wins and more great videos and also check out the ionicacademy.com um, with training courses projects and a great community to learn ionic i hope to see you inside the next video have a great day and take care